Hello and welcome to Ireland. Today I'm looking at a rather special knife. This is the Boker Tree Brand Trapper. The steel is C73 carbon steel. The handles are made from beer barrels. It's a rather pretty knife and it's also special because it has been sent to me by a YouTube friend. Um, he actually sent me two knives but this is the one we're looking at today. Let's give you a closer look at this. Okay, so here we have the Boker Tree Brand Trapper close up. It's a very lovely knife. The wooden handles are very beautiful in my opinion. Everything about this knife is very well put together. It's very crisp and clean and, and uh, very well, well made. And it's also very special to me because as I said, it has been sent to me by a YouTube friend. It's not every day something like this happens. And I feel greatly honored and privileged that he would take the time and trouble to send this half the way around the world to me. Okay, so the weather forecast for today is not good. So we need to move hard and fast now to build a shelter. We're going to build a shelter to test this knife out. So let's get at it guys, okay?
Okay, like a sniper in Stalingrad, I've had to relocate. My original campsite was about 600 meters that way. My rushes that I'm going to use for thatch are about 200 meters that way. And the intervening ground was just too rough and too wild uh, to carry the rushes over. So I've had to come here. I'll just give you a quick close up of my frame. I just wanted to show you one thing that I find useful. These supports, I have tapped into the ground and I tied them together under this. So these are now acting as bipods. Rather than resting them on this uh, horizontal pole and putting weight on it, they're now supporting it. So it makes a very rigid and, and uh, well-supported uh, shelter, okay? One thing my friend wondered was if this blade would be good for filleting fish or filleting fish if you speak Americanese. Well, there's only one way to find out. Now the only fish my fishmonger had uh, were sea bass, so that's what I'm using here. I would say yes, it works pretty well as a filleting knife or filleting knife, okay?
I won't even try to guess how Bear Grylls might uh, season his food. But I'm going to use salt and pepper. Just living off the land, you know, it's it's uh it's really tough and hard. You wouldn't like it very much. Nope, you wouldn't you wouldn't like it at all. This is hard going. It was a very tasty feed. Very nice. Just getting a brew on guys, at least this time uh, we have a, wa a waterproof shelter. Um, we had some nice rain roll through and uh, it, it shed it pretty well, so we're grand. I've been watching Tom in the woods, hi Tom, and his experiments with, with, with his brew kit. And I saw that he was using one of these uh, enamel mugs. I got this one in, in Halfords for uh, two euros. I was using a big stainless steel mug with about 500 mils, uh, but uh, it's, it's a bit big. It's, it's actually a small cool kit. It's a bit big if you just want a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. So this one is what is a little over 300 mils and it's, it's a more compact size to carry around. And I made a small alcohol stove for it. I made it so the flame doesn't burn too high it's, it's a, a reasonably small flame and that keeps it from scorching the mug too much. So 
not too far off the boil now, or off the hot enough mark. I won't bring it to the boil. She is just about starting to bubble. I don't want it too hot. Don't want to spill it either. I like this instant cappuccino. You've got sugar, milk, the whole lot all in one. I've made the sapling bed again and it's, it's not working out quite as well this time because I'm on a slight slope this way and I'm on a slope that way. And I've had to tie it together with twine or what have you. It works better on the flat. Still makes a reasonably comfy bed. I'm going to get this into me. Now comes the tricky part, getting into the sleeping bag. I get bunked down for the night, okay? morning well the shelter worked fairly well last night but my my love affair with the uh, sapling bed or the stick bed is about at an end it was a pain in the ass last night because i'm sloping this way and sloping down a hill as well it kept moving about and i had to tie it in place but it's still not great also we're so used to sleeping on a perfectly level bed that when you're on a slope, I really found a slope last night and really noticed it. Dice is already up and about, so I'm just going to have uh, some hot chocolate and we'll, we'll get on the road. Just to um, be perfectly honest, for the rushes, I use my old beater knife. Um, cutting rushes is very hard on edge and I didn't have time to be messing about sharpening knives. I knew it was going to take the edge. So I used this for the rushes. <coughs> the little boker knife I found was, was very, very nice, very good. It's a very well made, very pretty knife, very well put together. It's a good sharp knife as well. Now it has blunted a little, but it, it did quite a lot of work and it did, you know, we were cutting fairly fast and hard. And anyway, you have your second blade to back up. This is my first, um, this is the first time I've come across a boker knife and I'm quite impressed with them. I'm going to be having a long hard look at Boker knives from now on. Take a good look at all their models. Quite an impressive little knife. And to my YouTube friend who wishes to remain anonymous, thank you very, very much for this. I really appreciate it. 
you're going to have to give me a hint of what to send back. Otherwise, I'll have to send you an autograph photograph of myself for your mantelpiece. That'd be nice. Anyway, I'm going to have my hot chocolate, get home and get some breakfast. And before this guy goes chasing deer or something, stay at Ison. Thanks for watching, guys. Boker knives are lovely. Bye-bye.